All right, today I'm going to be talking about this rebind I've got here from uh, Benjamin Vinoy out of Corpus Christi, Texas. And if you want to see what this Bible looked like prior, look at my video um, rebind project before part two. And um, I show that Bible there. And I just got this back today. And this is absolutely gorgeous. I cannot even... Wow. I mean, the fine detail work on this thing is second to none. This cross stands out really, really well on the cover here. And this cover is a, a real nicely grained um, lamb skin. Very thick. Um, very detailed. Um, the spine stamping, I had him put uh, Eggman Mania 2001 for my YouTube channel and a Holy Bible and you can see the raised hubs and how they wrap around the text block. I like that. And they look uh, like burnished into the leather almost. It's really cool how he did that. So a very nice work of art, I should say from uh, Benjamin Benoit and you can find him at Ben's Bibles on Facebook and Instagram and I'll put a link in the description of course but uh, I'm at, almost at a loss for words for this thing this is just exceptional that looks really nice and then you know the full yap cover it's uh, really full really nice you know just extends around the whole text block got me some nice um, crimson colored ribbons there and then when you open it up he has the uh, gilt lines here on the inside and this uh, Victorian looking uh, gilting it's like a stamp um, and the corner work is just superb can see there how it just meticulous that that just looks really really good it's even all the way around and it's leather lined with uh, a lamb skin also and I like how it tapers the edge line cover so you can't see a bump there that's really nice just real good attention to detail I mean you can't even see the leather un up underneath there but it's definitely there you can see the paper is glued to it. It's like an Allen or local church Bible. So just in there. Here's my good old Revere Blackface text block. Just like it was when it left. And you can see the, the margins there around the text. And it's a good hand sized Bible. You know, smaller than a, a 110 or whatever from local church. Just a real nice hand sized Bible. Good eight point font, self pronouncing text. I just love the black face text block. And this paper is just exquisite. There's no ghosting at all. Just none at all. And I've had this Bible for a while and I've always thought about having it uh, rebound and uh, sent it off to Ben. It was a, it was a little bit of a wait. Um, because he does this for a living, he is a uh, professional rebinder. He, he, you know, he works for himself to uh, support his family, and uh, he does really fine work. He's done work for um, what was his name, Mark Hall, who uh, sings for uh, the uh, Christian band uh, Casting Crowns. And I don't listen to them, but I know that he did. Some of his work, and here's the back side. You can see that it matches perfectly. There you go. Just beautiful work. You can't ask for any better than that. And the tail bands are, uh, are new. You see the uh, the ribbons going in there. Just beautiful, beautiful work. Good gracious, this thing is nice. You know, this is one of my, this is my favorite 
uh, text block of all time, and and I liked it because I've never seen another one like it. You know, it's a black face with no references in the center column, and no concordance, no maps, just the Bible itself. And now I have it exquisitely bound by uh, Ben Vinoy. And you know, I got to know him pretty well throughout this process. You know, I've never, at the time, I'd never had a, a rebind done before. And uh, he's the second artisan that I've sent a Bible to that uh, you know, just kind of does it on his own. And I gotta say, I am completely blown away. Very impressed. It's, I mean, that's beautiful. Beautiful work. So there's Eggman Mania 2001. <laughs> YouTube channel Bible <laughs> that's nice that is really nice so my 1940 Brevere blackface wide margin now has a nice lamb skin cover and beautiful crimson ribbons let's look at it I just can't stop uh, holding things it's just really nice beautiful so, um, thank you, Ben, for the uh, excellent work that you did on this Bible. Very, very impressed. If you send your Bible to him, it's in good hands, I can assure you. Because uh, I wasn't too sure about putting anything on the cover. I've never had a cross or anything on the cover of my Bible. So this is a new thing. As well as the, uh, the uh, stamping here. The, you know, Because uh, I wasn't sure how that would look. But that... You know, it really pops, I think. It really sets it off. Um, doesn't It's not too much. And it goes well with the uh, the brown color of the uh, the cover, I think. And just, you know, it really emphasizes the interior, which I like. So, because, you know, the layout is what's most important, what's inside. You know, just... But knowing that this thing is going to last, and I can leave it to my children, you know, this is going to be... Just a, a really treasured heirloom in uh, my family, I'm sure, from now on. I, I'm completely blown away by this. So, um, wow. <laughs> it's a gorgeous Bible. Look at that thing. Mm. Anyway, I hope that uh, you will... Uh, support Ben uh, like I said uh, Ben's Bibles uh, on Facebook or Instagram and I'll put a link up um, he's on Bible Geeks of the World sometimes you can see him on there but um, I'll definitely be posting links to his page you know contact him um, he's a really friendly guy had the opportunity to talk with him a bunch on the phone you know, Christian man, loves the Lord, um, has a passion for the Bible, and just has a real talent for uh, rebinding them. So, I highly encourage you to check him out, send him some business. I think you, you would really, really be happy with the outcome. So, thank you for watching. Maranatha.